Hi friends, here we have to evaluate the limit of this trigonometric function. Uh, let me read the question. Limit when x tends to pi by 2, find the, uh, or we have to evaluate the limit of sec x minus tan x, right? So, you know, uh, it's pi by 2 exactly the 90 degree, you know, pi means actually the 180 degree, right? And pi by 2 that is, 180 by 2 that is exactly 90, right? So, when limit x tends to 90, sec 90 minus tan 90, it will be, you know, uh, when you plug the value of x 90 here, then it will be sec 90, sec 90 is equals to infinity, right? And tan 90 is also equals to infinity. So, infinity minus infinity, that's some undefined value, right? So, we can calculate like this. We don't have to eva evaluate the limit in this way. Actually, it's strong. So, this is not the method. So, we need to do something different thing. We, we have to apply here some operations. And after doing such operation, we need to get some uh, some real values, right? And uh, you know, whenever in trigonometry we get some problem, we always convert all the tan, cot, these all say these all into the sine and cos, right? So again, I'm I'm also here again converting this sec x and tan x into the sine and cos form. So let me do this, right? So limit when x tends to pi by two. Uh, now this sec x, right? Sec x I can write one upon cos x, right? And uh, tan x I can write sin x and sin x upon cos x right we have learned this actually uh, cos x is just the reciprocal of sec x and uh, tan is actually the ratio of sin and cos right so now further limit when x tends to pi by 2 right now I can take the com uh, LCM of this both right so it will be cos x right and 1 minus sin x right but still not i'm getting uh, i'm not getting what we need right because uh, you know uh, cos uh, 90 is actually uh, zero right and when you will get cos means i mean x is pi by 2 and when you plug the value of x over here then you will get cos 90 and cos 90 is something you know zero and uh, something upon zero that is numerator denominator you are getting zero it means again you are getting undefined value still we are not getting so what we can do now further mm, yeah, yeah let's rationalize it by the numerator we can rationalize by numerator so 1 plus sin x 1 plus sin x and whenever we rationalize we change the sign right so i change here sign so again limit x when tends to pi by 2 right so now see here in this problem exactly it is looking like a minus b a plus b that is a minus b a plus b it is looking just like this and you know f uh, friend uh, that a minus b times the a plus b is equals to a square minus b this algebraic identity we have to use here so what we'll get here now one square that is one itself and sine square x whole divided by cos x times this right so cos x times one plus sine x right and again let me tell you another formula that's mm. sine square theta plus cos squared theta is equals to 1 right this is another identity of trigonometry so what I can write here that uh, cos square theta is equals to 1 minus this is in the plus form so when it will come this side it will be negative so minus sine square theta so I mean to say cos square theta is 1 minus sine square theta right so uh, in the place of 1 minus sine square theta I can write cos square theta so it will be limit when x tends to pi by 2 right it will be now cos square x whole divided by cos x times 1 plus sin x right so now again here this is cos square x means there are two cos square x multiplying each other cos x times cos x so I can cut this cos x this with this cos x now it will be one only one here because it is cos x times cos x right so one cos x will cut down so only we will get cos x single cos x so now we can easily do this right so limit when x tends to pi by 2 we get here cos x whole divided by 1 plus sin x right now if we plug now the value of x here then we will not get any undefined value because 
if you plug the value of 90 here then sine 90 is exactly the one right so uh, it's easy to solve now so just plug the value right cos pi by 2 whole divided by 1 plus sine pi by 2 right and uh, the cos pi by 2 is 0 and then 1 plus 1 that is 0 upon 2 that is 0 itself right so what we got the answer 0 right <laughs> it's not the perfect 0 we got the answer 0 so like this you know we have to evaluate the limits of these problems right uh, depending on the situation we may have to substitute something right uh, if we get something uh, 0 upon 0 form here we're getting infinity upon infinity infinity minus infinity that's something undefined value right so depending on the situation you know we have to apply different different types of uh, uh, methods right and uh, we have learned total 13 method uh, I'll be telling you to solve the limits problem right and uh, now what I want to tell you uh, please visit my website skyingblogger.com s-k-y-i-n-g-b-l-o-g-g-e-r skyingblogger.com in this website skyingblogger.com actually I have placed a lot of problem related to this limits and continuity and if you solve those all problems in skyingblogger.com uh, I'm sure you'll be perfect in this chapter and if if you feel even if you feel any extra problem then please you can mail me comment me whatever you can do me you can contact me of course I will be back to you I'll be replying you okay we'll be meeting in the next video bye bye